happy Saturday. Another weekend is here. I'm just chilling in my robe. I fired up a new coffee from my trade subscription, the Kuvi, and I am liking it on first slurp. Uh, delicious. Yeah, I finished up the other one that I had going, the cherry dark chocolate noted one, and it was delightful. Anyways, this morning I did a little ankle weight routine and then I did my morning skincare routine. I'm wearing the um, Neutrogena SPF 60 uh, sunscreen serum. It has a long, complicated name. I've really been enjoying that. Uh, if you are in the market for a good, high SPF, affordable sunscreen, uh, it's not greasy or heavy, highly recommend it. Before I put it on though, I put on the Color Science Even Up Multi Correction Serum. This product is um, a very lightweight, moisturizing lotion that has a blend of uh, botanic antioxidants and peptides and it helps in reducing free radical damage in the skin that contributes to photoaging and to hyperpigmentation. It has their like Lumera complex which is like a patented blend of different peptides and botanic antioxidants and it's actually um, been shown to reduce some of the visible signs of photoaging and improve hyperpigmentation. That's why it's like a multi, it's marketed as a multi-correction pigment serum, I think it's called. Anyways, um, so they actually did clinical studies with it, so it does actually work. The point of using something like that under your sunscreen is sunscreens that are formulated with antioxidants in them, they don't end up helping you out because the antioxidants, they're not gonna get into your skin in a sunscreen uh, vehicle. Because sunscreens, they form a film on the skin that kind of keeps that uh, antioxidant from getting into the skin. Antioxidants in theory are nice because they help reduce the burden of oxidative stress in the skin that comes about from uh, UV exposure. There's a, sorry, there's a weird like, <laughs> there's a weird shadow that's cast and it kind of makes it look like I've got a swollen cheek or something. Anyways, yeah, um, they're, they're, in theory they're helpful. They're just difficult to formulate in products so that they're stable. And then when it comes to sunscreens, sunscreens that have antioxidants, it's, they're not working for you in a sunscreen because again, the film thing. So you can put on a product that has antioxidants onto the skin first, allow it to absorb fully, and then put sunscreen on over it to get the benefit of the antioxidants and then to have the sunscreen on over. That's how to do it. And this particular product is nice because it's nice and lightweight. The sunscreen doesn't pill up or ball on top of it on top of it. Now, something that is a lot more affordable that you can do that is an antioxidant serum is the Inky List Q10 antioxidant serum. Q10 or ubiquinone is an antioxidant that when applied to the skin has been shown to reduce the burden of free radical damage. It's not like a patented trademark blend of peptides and, and whatnot. It's just ubiquinone. Um, but it, it has been shown to work. Now the Inky List one, we don't have clinical studies on, but uh, it, you know, it's, a, it's basically an affordable option. I think it's like seven or eight bucks. So I don't know what it is. I've just kind of been craving popcorn lately and I don't really care for microwave popcorn. It has a strange, like the bags, you know what I mean? The bags of microwave popcorn. Uh, it has like this strange chemical taste to it. I don't care for it. And um, the only microwave popcorn bags that are vegan are the, like the um, the um, kettle kettle corn flavor, and I don't I don't really like that. I just want like plain popcorn. It's really hard to find plain air popped popcorn. So I got this gizmo on the Amazonian and I am loving it. Highly recommend it if you are wanting to do air pop popcorn in your microwave. It's called um, Popco, I think. Yeah, Popco. And you just put the kernels in there. You don't have to put anything else in. You just put the kernels in there and put this on and put it in the microwave and it pops and it doesn't burn. I mean, I suppose you could burn it if you left it in there too long. It really gets the job done. Uh, if you're terrified of microwaves, I know a lot of people don't, are not down with microwaves and this would not be for you, but I microwave plenty of things and I'm on team microwave. So if you are on team microwave and 
want to do try this. I highly recommend it. It wasn't expensive. I bought the kernels from, of course, iHerb, this brand Eden. They happen to be organic. Um, but they have been very good. So I'm gonna, I actually, I think for fun, I'll show you guys how it works. <laughs> it's about two tablespoons. We'll get you, it kind of varies depending on the size of your kernels. But if you'll notice, I don't know if you can see with the lining, there are like two lines um, that you can fill to. One is for like a lot and one is for a little. So the two tablespoons is like one serving and that gets you to the little line. Um, I have to say, it actually pops 97% of the kernels. You know popcorn, There's always there are always those rogue unpopped kernels at the bottom. My microwave is a little slow, so it's been in there for about to roughly 90 minute, 90 seconds, and now it's it's starting to get going with the popping, as you can hear. And you wanna just let it go until the pops are spaced by like roughly three seconds, and that, that ends up being about right. Voila! Perfectly popped. You can put whatever toppings you, your little heart desires on it, but if you want to get sophisticated, I highly recommend this Italian black truffle sea salt I discovered on iHerb from the Spice Lab. This is so good. It really, it really takes it to gourmet to put a little of that on. If you like truffle flavors, that is. This is really good. Um, it's delicious on the popcorn. Yeah, those kernels are good. Look good too. And that's the unpopped remains. Now I think if I had left it in there for like maybe 30 more seconds, I would have I would have gotten those to pop, but I didn't want to push my luck. <laughs> movie theater ready. Why don't they serve coffee at movie theaters? Cause it's always cold in the movie theater. And like, I don't know, coffee would help you stay awake too if it was late at night. I would drink coffee, in, in, especially in a matinee. Well, hey guys, I'm on my way to run errands. I'm gonna stop by the P.O. Box and head on over to the club. Hopefully I don't get poured on. It does look like it may rain, although it's just kind of gray out and I've got my shades on. Um, oh, I get questions about these shades. They came in a FabFitFun box. They are by the brand Tom's, like the shoe company and it's the Paloma style. And the link I was providing for a while, they had sold out, but I found them again. So I'll link them down below. Hopefully they're still in stock if you're, you're interested. They are, I like the way they look, but you know, from a eye protective thing, they're not optimal. You really, I mean, you want wrap around um, sunglasses. Those are actually the best. Cause I like, see light still getting in on the side, but um, I like wearing these. <laughs> So yeah, that's what I wear. Speaking of sun protective, I've got my new bay leaf jacket on that I got from the Amazonian. This is a UPF 50 jacket and I'm taking it for a test drive today because um, it's a super humid day, even though it's gray out, it's hot and humid. Uh, and it's so far, it is holding up well. I'm not getting underarm moistness, <laughs> AKA sweat. It's really comfortable. I think it's gonna be perfect this summer. I love that it has the hand protectors and a little side in, in the pockets. I like having pockets. If you run outdoors, I highly recommend this because it's not gonna make you get overheated like some running jackets. And for the summer here especially, that's key. Although if you guys, if you guys live here in Houston and you run outside in the summer, I mean, how do you do it? How? I love running, but I, I'm intimidated by running outside here because it gets so deathly hot that I would just worry that I wouldn't be able to hack it. You know, like you must have to take electrolytes with you. You must go super early in the morning. See that? I don't enjoy running early in the morning, which is another reason why I haven't ever attempted to run outside. That and the fact that, let me backtrack, that is the reason I haven't attempted to run outside during the summer months. Um, I have run outside here, but honestly not that much because there just really isn't a good, there's one location that is in, within walking distance to me that is decent for running, but 
it's got this portion of it that gets really muddy and what happens whenever I run on it, if it's muddy, which is often the case, is that the mud starts caking on my running shoes and weighing down my legs. That happened to me before. I get like these big mud bricks on the bottoms of my running shoes. Yeah, when the pandemic first hit and the gyms closed, before I got my treadmill, I was running outside a fair amount. And the motivation to get the treadmill was the fact I was like, oh God, summer is coming. Summer is coming. What am I going to do as far as running? Uh, so yeah, those of you who live here, and I can I'm, I say here is in Houston because I don't know. I know it's hot pretty much all over Texas, but I know in other parts of the state it's drier. It's not as bearable. Like Dallas, Dallas actually is cold. Um, not in the summer, but in the winter months, Dallas actually gets pretty cold and they get kind of snow. The thing about Dallas that I have learned, because I follow some people on Instagram who live in Dallas, the thing I've come to learn about Dallas is that if you live there, if you're thinking about moving there, at least from what I can appreciate, do not um, move somewhere where you do not have, where you don't have covered parking, because they get this hail there and it can destroy your vehicle. So yeah, um, that is what I would recommend. I was, I've been told and I've, I've learned from other people's experiences who have had their car broken into that you never, ever, ever, ever leave anything in the car because they will smash the window. It doesn't matter if it's like two cents in the cup holder, it will smash the window. And that is such a burden to have to deal with. I have one friend who does not lock his car he says he would rather them open the door, mess around, because they're gonna do it. He'd rather them at least open the door rather than smash the window because the broken window is like a pain to deal with. Um, so yeah, that's a little tip about here. We do have a fair amount of that. I decided to put these barrels on person knows I need to get over it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm feeling in a good mood today, you guys. I mean, I'm generally in a good mood, but I have moods where I am more like in my head thinking about things that I need to do and like making to-do lists. And today I'm just enjoying the day not living in my head of like okay and when I get get here I need to do this that and the other are you one of those people like me where you are always like thinking 10 steps ahead of where you're going to be and what you're going to be doing and like how the layout and flux is going to go it can be it's a good thing but it can be limiting in that you don't always live in the moment because you're in your head scrolling through some sort of to-do list Oh, did I mention this already? I have you guys up on the Manfrotto handheld tripod. I, okay, sometimes I forget it because it, it takes up a lot of, I say I forget, but actually the truth is sometimes I just don't feel like bringing it because it takes up a lot of room in my purse. <laughs> that sounds like a stupid excuse, but anyways, yeah. Um, but when I have you guys up on my handheld tripod, you actually will stay in place there better than any, any car mount dash, car mount dash? car dash mount dash mount I have ever had I've purchased so many over the years and I've had to return every single one because they never work I don't know what it is about my car they never work this and we're gonna go over a pothole here this stays there because there's like this little screen that I have this little it tells me like what radio station I'm listening to or whatever, but I don't listen to radio. Anyways, I have this like little screen and there's like a, there's like a divot and that's what makes it impossible to stick the suction cup on there properly. It just doesn't stay. I've tried so many of them, you know, the industrial strength, whatever. Um, but the Manfrotto, it's got, you know, it's a tripod. So it kind of hangs on to that little screen. And yeah. All right, I'm back here on Tuesday morning because, uh, yeah, 
Yes, they have one more. I'm totally getting another one of these Ogi water bottles. I've been loving the one I have, so I'm getting another one so that I have, I can rotate them out. Here it is, SK2. I feel like the hype around this has kind of died down over the years. $199.99 for Galactomyces. Am I hallucinating? Is it just me or does $19.99 seem like a steal for the 6x9 indoor outdoor area rug? I mean, granted, it's not like the sexiest thing on the planet as far as home decor goes, uh, but that's a steal, especially for like a patio. That's a really good value. Rugs are expensive. Have all the outdoor. Whew. Looks like a samurai sword, butcher's knife. Outdoor grilling tools here, Cuisinart. Looks like something you would see people putting on a putting on a face mask with on TikTok. <laughs> oh God, I, I think I probably just started something. <laughs> Give it a day. Next thing you know. People will be doing it, squeezing their blackheads with that thing. <laughs> the Rock, reversible grill griddle. Now that's, that's smart. Do any of you guys have this Blackstone grill I keep seeing people on YouTube rave about? Is it one of those things that is overhyped or is it actually worth, worth it? I, I have zero investment in it because A, there's very little I would be interested in grilling. I mean, veggies, I don't like grilled veggies as much as other forms. I mean, I'll eat any kind of vegetable, but that's not my preferred. And so I don't really see, I mean, I guess I could do tofu scramble, but anyways, yeah, what I'm getting at is I am definitely not their target audience, but I'm curious if it is actually a good, a good investment. Comment below. Oh my God, my battery's gonna die, sorry. So I just finished steaming up this broccoli in my always pan and I just love how easy it is to lift, lift out the little steamer basket. So easy. Um, yeah, I like to have steamed broccoli on hand. It's one of my favorites. stretching and I don't run with my hair down like this because if I did it would because it would like swish back and forth it would get knotted I always run with it like in a bun yeah there's no way I can run with my hair in a ponytail it'll turn into it'll turn into a tangled mess um, anyways I swung by the PO box before I went to Tuesday morning and I got some new mugs that two of you sent me so let me show you guys well, hey guys, <laughs> I love it. And then the back says sunscreen and subscribe. And then this gorgeous one, someone made for me. Isn't that beautiful? It is from this um, Paige Pottery, turning mud to stone, uh, pagepottery.com. Uh, if you have any questions, if you would like to contact us, please email. There you go. Yeah, it came with recyclable packing peanuts. It was really well packaged. Yeah, if you guys are in the market for some handmade pottery, definitely check them out. Jen Lamber, Lamber Jack, and Jen Lam Lamber Jack. Thank you, did you draw those? Oh, it looks like stamps, that's pretty cool. 
I put my groceries away, but this is one thing I snagged at Costco, the That's It bars. They're really delicious. If you've ever had them, you guys know I like the um, layered fruit bars. Um, they're, they're similar to layered fruit bars. They're just shaped a little bit differently. You got eight strawberry, eight mango, and eight blueberry flavors. These are delicious. Anyways guys, I'm gonna jump in the shower and unwind for the rest of the evening. So I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. I really appreciate that. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.